Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Last year I posted a video on how to make your own gilded book edge, which is basically adding a shiny gold finish to the edge of your book. I wanted to revisit that project. In this video I'll show you what I came up with and give you an idea on how you can paint on extra artwork to any of your notebooks, sketchbooks, or journals. This is a great way to add something extra to any of your books and it's surprisingly easy and the outcome I think looks really cool. I tested out a floral design and also, uh, you know me, I have to paint a galaxy on anything. I have a lot of videos on my channel with a lot of galaxy painted things, so of course I had to try that out. I'll be using acrylic paint, but you can also use liquid watercolor. I don't have any of that around, so I just went with the acrylic paint. And also you want to use opaque paints, because if they're transparent, you're going to end up adding more layers of paint to the edge, and it's just better for the paper edge if you have just like a couple layers of paint. You don't want too much. Also, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make a new video every week on DIY, art, or craft projects. So be sure to subscribe, hit that button below, and hit that like button if you like this kind of project, if you want to see more book projects on this channel, and let's get to it. This first book is a plain white moleskin journal that is just begging to be painted on. So first I'm going to wipe off any dust that may be along the edges so that I have a clean surface. Then I'm going to tape off any areas which I don't want to get painted on and I'm doing that with removable tape. Either painter's tape or washi tape can work well for this. So now I've taped on along all of the edges which I don't want to get paint on all around the book. And for extra protection you can tape on a piece of paper around the cover of the book. Now you want to press the pages down in some way, either with clamps, a book press, or heavy weights. For this one, I'm using a tabletop, and then a large cookbook on top of the book, and an extra weight on top of that. Now with acrylic paint and a brush, I'm going to paint on the first solid color all along the edges of the book. I'm using a dry brush method so that there is no water moisture warping the pages, and to get an even coverage, I'm working in light, small strokes so that there isn't a lot of paint buildup along the edge. After that is dry, I'm going to paint on a floral pattern with these combination of colors. I'm using my smallest brush for this, and I did use a little water because I think it's fine if it's on top of the second layer of paint. That way the paper is protected in some way and water is less likely to go into the paper but you do want to dab it with a paper towel just a little to dry off any extra water that might drip onto your book. And if your paint starts building up too much, you can go back with a paper towel before it dries and remove any excess paint. After your design is complete and your paint is all dry, you may have to go in and separate all of the pages. This is especially true if you're using acrylic paint because it's a different consistency and pages are more likely to stick together. I found it helps to kind of uh, wiggle around the text block, move it back and forth, and that will break up some of the pages, making it easier to separate them if some of them just slightly stuck together. And this is where it helps to not have a lot of paint build up on the edge so that the pages are easy to separate and flip through. So here is my final floral pattern on this book, and I think it really adds a nice pop of color to this white journal. It definitely makes any book more interesting to have a colorful pattern on the edge, and I really like how this one turned out. For my next book, I have this dream dictionary which sits on my bookshelf, and I think it would look so much better if there was a galaxy painted on the edge of it. And just like the previous book, I removed any dust or dirt that has been on the book since being on my bookshelf, and then I put removable tape along the whole book cover. This time I'm going to use my DIY book press, which you can learn how to make up here. I will also include that link down below. It's a really old tutorial, but it still works. I still use this, and you just want to make sure that it's large enough to fit your book. It presses the book without using any weights, and I can stand it up so I can have a top view of the book edge. Now with black acrylic paint, I'm going to use the same dry brush technique and go all around the book edge to make it solid black. After one side was dry, I then turned it around in the book press to paint the other edge. It's important to keep the pages pressed while waiting for the first layer of paint to dry. 
Otherwise, the paint will have time to seep into your book edge, which could lead to warping and giving your pages these goopy spots along the edge. After the black layer is dry, it's now time to paint on the galaxy. I do have a tutorial which I made a while ago on how to paint a galaxy, and you can check that out up here and I will also link it down below. First I'm going to start out with cloudy areas of the pink color all around the book edge. And again using the dry brush method so I'm not really putting any extra moisture on the book. Then lightly brushing on some blue and blending it in some of the pink areas and you're really going for cloudy spots of these colors. For the Whovians or Doctor Who fans out there, I think this galaxy art would look so cool along River Song's diary if you made one for yourself. If you haven't, I have a tutorial for that, which you can check out up here and I will also link it down below. In my How to Paint a Galaxy tutorial, I used a technique for the stars where I flicked on white paint and that's going to be kind of messy for this, so I'm actually going to dot on and paint on all of the stars. I'm using my really small brush for this and patting down the stars with my finger just to give it a hazy look, which will add dimension to the stars. You can go back and add white paint on top of that to make bright stars, and you want it to look like there's just a giant cluster of stars. And forming the stars into a line or a belt like I did on the left, overall will make the whole thing look more like a galaxy. After everything is dry, I removed it from the press and removed all of the tape to reveal my Galaxy Dream Dictionary book. I think a galaxy pattern looks good on pretty much anything, but I think it adds so much more interest to this book, and especially if you have like a sci-fi book or any book dealing with space or dreams or whatever, I think it just looks really cool on the book edge and it can really add to the book's story. And you can pretty much paint on anything you want. I hope this inspires you and gives you an idea on how you can add extra artwork to your books. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. And if you try this out, I would love to see your book pictures. So share those with me on my social links and add a hashtag CLemon. Be sure to subscribe to my channel CLemon and I will include some other related videos somewhere around here. I will also put those links in the video description below if you can't see these on the end card. And I will see you guys next week. Week.